Hey there folks, welcome to the first part of my VGC Diaries where I catalog my exploits uh, at the first ever video game championship tournament I ever went to, uh, which is the first and so far only VGC tournament that I ever went to. This one was in Philly for the Autumn Regionals. Uh, my opponent in this match uh, was a guy named Joseph, who uh, was, I remember because he was dressed up like in full costume as Roshark from um, Watchmen, or, you know, also kind of like Spider-Man, but, you know, whatever. Uh, he was very insistent that he was not Spider-Man. Anyway, um, I'm using a modified version of my VGC team, uh, sorry, my uh, doubles team, uh, my dual weather doubles team, only running a single weather. I've been playtesting for a while on the Smog on uh, Pokemon Showdown server, and this is the team that really did best for me. I didn't expect to do, I expected to win about three quarters of my matches in this tournament. I was really curious how well I'd do. Anyway, in this battle, I flinched his Among Us first turn with my Hitmon top because I did not want it sporing. Uh, unfortunately, he had Effect Spore, not Regenerator. I was like, what the hell? Who doesn't run a Regenerator on Among Us? But I guess actually in VGC, you're not really doing too much switching most of the time. Here I was really hoping that Mock Punch uh, would take out Among Us at this range of health. It did not. Uh, I mean, so I have no, so the only attacking moves I have on my Hitmon top are Fake Out, uh, Mock Punch, and then Close Combat, it's, uh, then it's got Protect as the last move. It's kind of a weird set, and maybe not the most effective, but it actually did pretty well for me. So Hitmon top is the first Pokemon to go down, my Tornadus is sound asleep, and I didn't want to switch it out or anything because there is no Sleep Clause in VGC. I personally think that's a huge mistake to not have Sleep Clause in any kind of tournament like this, but whatever. Anyway, Tornadoes is not waking up. Chandelure goes for a heat wave. Um, my Mammal Swine uh, it does more than half to Mammal Swine, but that's oh, it doesn't KO because of Thick Fat. Thank God for that ability. I go for the Earthquake here. His Among Us protected itself, uh, so it's going to survive another turn. But Chandelure is taken out by that Earthquake, so that is that is quite nice. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and send out my own Among Us as uh, my opponent sends out Hitmon Top. So you notice I'm in, I took detailed notes uh, at this uh, competition. I wrote down every member of my opponent's team, except for, for this team, this is the only one that was the first match, I forgot to write down the final Pokemon. So uh, that's why there's that question mark there. And so the, the reason I'm showing you the full teams, even though only four actually appear in the battle, is so I can answer questions regarding why I selected the Pokemon that I did, because really VGC matches are often won and lost in the selection stage. Um, at least that's been my experience. Anyway, so here I'm trying to turn around um, my com I'm, I was behind, now I'm trying to turn that around. I believe now it is 2-2. I've taken out his Among Us finally, and now he's got a Mammoth Swine and a Hitmon Top, and I'm thinking I I don't think I can win this. Uh, I was expecting his Hitmon Top to go for the Mock Punch. Um, he didn't, and uh, so now his Mammoth Swine goes for the Earthquake. My Mammoth Swine survives on 1 HP. Thank God I swapped this out for a bulkier set. I was originally running um, max speed adamant, but I've since switched that to the uh, all-around bulkiest set that's uh, possible with Mammoth Swine. I, I'll explain the EVs on that if anyone wants. Um, but, yeah, so based on the fact that he protected and split, kind of split the amount of damage being done, I actually, uh, and I, I was able to put Mammoth Swine to sleep, and I'm thinking, holy crap, I think I actually might win this depending on when his Mammoth Swine wakes up. So I go for a superpower here, it's super effective, except for he's got the Chopley Berry, which is actually not a bad idea, although, I don't know, I would probably go with whatever the water, um, uh, neutralizing one is. Anyway, go for the Giga Drain here, get his Mammoth Swine down to super low, and now, um, I think Mammoth Swine is at a health where it couldn't be taken out by an Earthquake, um, so he he'd have to, he can't take out both of us even if he were to wake up this first turn. I go for the Ice Shard, and I'm going to manage to take out Mammoth Swine and win the battle, uh, so... I'm starting off with a win. That is really fantastic. And I'm really wondering, oh, well, you know, this is Swiss pairing, so that means that my next opponent will also be one zip. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes.